Hi, Simone. What is the platform design canvas and um, why did you invent it? Oh, okay, so I didn't actually invent it because it's a more a um, fork or a, um, I would say a, a iteration of an existing tool. Uh, this tool is very famous, it's called the Business Model uh, Canvas and uh, it's been, it was created by Alex Osterwalder uh, for modeling linear businesses where you have one producer and one consumer. Uh, so my point was to um, grow it into something more, you know, more useful into the uh, internet era, I would say, and the peer-to-peer uh, -peer, uh, era. So actually I tried to uh, create an iteration of that canvas to, to be helpful uh, for designing um, platforms instead of uh, linear products. So basically platforms are uh, mm, products or services that um, have more than one uh, single customer segment. They have uh, more mm, what I call peer segments. So actually you, you need something that helps you to understand what are the transactions and relationships that, um, that are uh, grow um, between these, these different peer segments. So you need something more, you know, more targeted to multilinear businesses than, than the existing canvas actually. Um, your tool has a huge impact on the so-called shared economy. What can you tell us about it? Uh, actually, uh, probably because of my existing interest into uh, sharing economy and in general into the collaborative economy, uh, this tool uh, is very uh, helpful uh, when it comes to peer-to-peer -peer marketplaces, for example. And peer-to-peer uh, -peer marketplaces are very common into this new trend of the sharing economy because uh, people start is starting to, for example, to rent out their cards or their rooms, uh, like with Airbnb or carpooling systems. So uh, usually when you analyze this kind of uh, um, marketplaces, you have uh, at least a couple of uh, peer segments. One is the consumer, actually, for example, one person that goes into a Airbnb host room. Uh, and the other one is the prosumer, like uh, people that wants to make a living or make some uh, money out of uh, existing resources, like their spare room or spare um, place uh, in, a, in a car going from A to B, actually. So this is um, very helpful uh, when it comes to this kind of peer-to-peer uh, -peer marketplaces, but can be used for uh, several other scenarios like products or, or things like that. How do you see the convergence of business thinking and design thinking evolving in the future? Uh, I think that uh, uh, one interesting thing is that uh, design thinking is uh, more and more uh, going into toolkits and uh, canvases like the tool I'm developing. So actually those are tools that uh, uh, you don't need to be a designer to, to use. Actually it's more of uh, an inclusive uh, concept of design. So uh, me and other few uh, folks uh, are developing these kind of toolkits and these kind of toolkits will open business and strategic design to uh, non-designers actually. So that's my uh, point of view on, on the role of design right now. It's m much more an inclusive uh, tool for uh, letting businesses and people to learn how to design properly businesses uh, or, or products without, uh, uh, without a design background actually. Thank you so much. You're welcome.